throughout our entire lives, from the moment we are born and in the big picture itself. Decisions need to be made. They are made every day from our citizens, from our government, to our country's leaders. In the United States, those decisions are made every day from the response to the COVID-19 pandemic, the economic stability of the country, and the presidency election of 2020. The Americans decided their new president to be Joe Biden. And as Joe Biden moves into his presidency, he is considering a lot of new decisions. One of these decisions being the relationship between the United States and Saudi Arabia. The Council on Foreign Relations tells us that under the Trump administration and in relation to Mohammed bin Salman, the two countries became rather close throughout his presidency, becoming allies and improving the relationship that they've had for over 70 years. Because of this close relationship that has formed under the president of Donald Trump, and because of Joe Biden's new interests in this relationship, it's important that we consider the question, is maintaining a close relationship with Saudi Arabia in the best interest of the United States? And the answer is yes, for three reasons. They have similar international interests, a long-standing security relationship, and they are economic partners. First, Saudi Arabia and the United States have similar political interests since President Roosevelt and for over 70 years. The two countries have worked closely together on projects such as reforming the Gulf to improving the regional security. And as the Center for Strategic and International Studies, February 29th of 2018 tells us, they've been allies in a lot of different situations from Saudi Arabia supporting the United States against the Soviet Union, allowing the allied forces to use the airspace to both states being in agreement on the confrontations during Nasser and the alliance and the crises within Iraq and Yemen. As Saudi Arabia is one of the United States closest relationships within that region, it would prove to be beneficial to keep this relationship because of the similar international interests within each, each society. Not only do the two countries have similar international interests, but they also have a long-standing security relationship. The US Department of State, November 26th of 2019, tells us that ever since the 1950s, the United States has helped Saudi Arabia with their military and civilian constructions. And the United States and Saudi Arabia have other relationships within this, as Saudi Arabia is the largest foreign military sales of the United States, purchasing over $100 billion in active FMS cases. And according to the Center for Strategic and International Studies of February 29th, 2018, Saudi Arabia depends on the United States for most of their arms and training support. This is important as both countries rely heavily, especially Saudi Arabia, upon the security relationship between the two countries. The security relationship also feeds into their international interests, making it even more of a relationship that the United States ought to keep. Also, the United States and Saudi Arabia are economic partners. Not only does Saudi Arabia rely on the United States for the buying of arms, but also in other economical areas for each country. 
the U.S. Department of State, November 29th of 2019, tells us that Saudi Arabia is one of the largest trading states in the Middle East region. And the United States is Saudi Arabia's second largest trading partner within, within the international economy. This is important because according to the same source, the United States relies on Saudi Arabia for its oil supply. It is the second largest in source of how the United States receives its oil supply and th this is over um, 1 million barrels of oil used and shipped per day to the United States from Saudi Arabia. This economic partnership is important to both countries from safety to functioning of power from oil. Because of this relationship and because Joe Biden has to make a decision we considered the question, is maintaining a close relationship with Saudi Arabia in the best interest of the United States? And ultimately, we have to say that this relationship is beneficial to the United States from having an ally who has similar international interests within a region where these interests aren't maximized by every country to the long-standing security relationship and economic partnership that each country has with each other. Thank you.